going on guys? This is Gaynali. So today I'm bringing you the long-awaited video talking about my job, which is 3D0 X2. So I know that some of you probably have this question because I did too when I was joining. Like in um, the AFSC, which is the Air Force Specialty Code, um, which is a co each job has a code in the Air Force, right? I'm going to go over everything in this video and it's very spitball. Like I don't have any plan for this. I just want to go over everything about my job specifically. But before we jump into that, um, I have to go over this because this could get confusing to people, right? So basically you have Air Force specialty codes, which every job is assigned a specialty code. And in that code, there's an X somewhere, right? So mine is 3D0X2. The X is replaced by your skill level. So my skill level, um, let's see, how does it work? At basic was a one. No, it's it, in tech school, it's one, right? Once you graduate tech school, it's a three. And then once you pass your upgrade training, um, which is CDCs, on job training, a bunch of stuff, then you upgrade to five. Once you become an NCO, you upgrade to seven. And then um, once you become a senior NCO, I believe you upgrade to nine level. My career field does not have a nine level. Um, we have a seven level, it's as high as we go personally. So, okay. Again, uh, going over it, my job is 3D0X2. I'm a 3D032 right now, and that is cyber systems operations. It is a cyber career field. Um, my job is basically a server administrator. So I got on my phone, I got on the Air Force website, and I'm going to read you the description for my job straight from the Air Force website. Um, so it says, the Air Force relies heavily on advanced computer and software systems, so it is a paramount to keep these systems safe. It's the job of cyber systems operations specialists to design, install, and support our systems to ensure they operate properly and remain secure from outside intrusion. These experts enhance our capabilities and provide us the best and most secure systems so we can stay ahead of the curve in everything that we do. So basically when I went to MEPS, um, I knew the jobs that I wanted. I wanted bas basically any cyber job, like dental assistant, pretty much all of the cooler type stuff, right? Medical, all that stuff, right? Because I, I wasn't trying to be a mechanic, like that's not my type of person. I didn't want to join the military to do that. I wanted to join the military so I can go to college, but also get um, experience in a, in a career field that I would be interested in doing, right? So. Uh, I've always been interested in computers. I don't really need to go super in deep in that, but I really wanted a cyber job. So my number one pick was cyber surety because I thought it meant cyber security. I thought it was going to be more um, hands-on like my job is now. And my number two pick was cyber systems operations. I ended up getting my number two pick, thank God, because I uh, would not like cyber surety. They do have a really short tech school compared to um, cyber operations. So that is a plus, I guess. Also jumping into it with... Um, the ASVAB, when you're actually trying to get the job, you have to score a 64 in general to be able to get this job. Um, obviously, the higher you get, the better. Um, and I also believe that if you score pretty high on the electronic part of the ASVAB, that you will also be able to land this job too. So basically, um, I'm just gonna tell you my job day to day. Um, and before I do that, sorry, I mean, it's this video, like I said, is spitballing, right? I'm just trying to get the information out there um, because there's really no, like, like, I can't just hold up a piece of paper and be like, this is the job that I do day to day to day, right? Because it's different for everybody. It depends on what um, big Air Force you're in. It depends on what type of, like, base you're at, which goes on the same thing. Like, I'm at the AMC, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends where you are. It depends if you're overseas or not. It depends on what things your squadron has you doing it's, it's really hard to explain because everyone's job is different that's why when you go online and you look up 3d 0x2 and you look up like forums and a bunch of stuff like reddit like okay w w what do they do day to day it's really hard to find that out because like i run websites i make sure that the websites stay up to date i make sure that the maintenance is done on time when it needs to be done i make sure that they're healthy websites i do tons of stuff like that right all related to servers but somebody else at Buckley Air Force Base in Colorado, like my homie, he's doing stuff that's completely different than me. I have people in Louisiana doing stuff that are completely different. People in Florida, people in at Minot, right? People just everywhere doing things that are different at every single base because it's not like we have so many bases and we're all working on the same websites, right? Like there's tons of websites in the military and whether they're just, they have all these different missions and stuff, right? So I'm not gonna tell you my missions, I'm not gonna tell you like what we're doing, what we're working on and stuff like that, right? But I can give you the bare minimum, which is we have websites, we have servers that host those websites, 
and it's our job to keep those servers healthy so that they can continue to host the website so that people can use them. Um, now, it's that's basically what we learn at tech school too. So when you get to tech school, you'll have two classes or yeah, two blocks at Dolan Hall. And then after that, you'll go to Thompson Hall where you have four blocks. And then after that, you will have your sec plus test. So um, Dolan, you're basically learning basic like cyber uh, technology, information technology, that type of thing, right? You're learning the bare minimum. You're learning about computers, how they function, um, a lot of Air, Air Force related stuff, which I'm not gonna lie, is kind of boring. Um, that stuff is definitely hard to listen to because it's a lot of memory based work. Um, so you do have to push through that. Like me, I'm a very technical person. I like to work with technology and learn about technology. So that stuff was a, like a, a very big, problem for me right it wasn't necessarily a problem but I, I definitely had to learn how to work through that and it's like the same thing with CBCs and stuff and as you go through tech school you learn how to do it um, and certain ways to study for stuff like that so when CDCs came along it's it's kind of like a cakewalk now but there's definitely um, a way of studying that you kind of have to conform to at tech school now everyone does it differently whether it's Quizlet whether it's pro profs whether it's flashcards or you know group texting or you know whatever it is, right? There's there's just certain things that your class will kind of adapt to, and majority of the people in your class will end up doing the same things because you're all you're you're with each other for like four to five months. You know what I'm saying? So you just kind of have to become really close friends, and when you become close friends, that's kind of what happens. So basically, um, once you get through Dolan, you graduate there. You start going to Thompson, which is like way, way, way more big than uh, Dolan. Like Dolan is like where the baby flights go type thing. Like it's kind of like the baby flights of tech school. Um, well, I'm, at least for my my job, like my career field, because other career fields have like seven blocks there. I don't know specifically, but they have a lot of blocks there. So, uh, but basically, when you get to Thompson, um, it just goes through our job. Like I don't remember specifically what they are, but block one will be a little bit more basic than block two. Block three, you learn a ton about encryption. You learn a ton about um, servers. You learn a ton about virtual machines, which is like what I work on. So like, if you don't know what a virtual machine is, um, which there's a good chance that you'll be working with them um, in this career field, regardless of where you're at. But a virtual machine is a computer inside of a computer. So like, it's a way of accessing a computer from your computer, basically. And uh, that's how we work on a lot of the things that we do. Um, and you learn tons about that at tech school in this career field. There's like pretty much a whole block dedicated to that and it's really cool because you get to work with them hands-on and they like there's there's like your actual block test for each to move on to the next block right obviously like a unit end of unit exam like a you know what I mean and then within that there's like little workshops that you do that you pretty much have to pass those to to kind of advance so some of the teachers are a little bit more lenient with those like some some teachers um, instructors I guess I should call them but if you fail one of those workshop type things like sometimes they'll flunk you and you have to go back and retake everything like the whole block um, but my, my instructor was super cool. So, and also none of us failed that because it's really easy. So, uh, what do I do day to day? Um, I wake up, I go to work on a regular day without, um, PT. It's basically 7.30 to 4.30. So I get in there, I'm there by 7.30. Um, on, you know, certain days of the week, we do health checks on the server. So we have certain servers that we make sure that they're all running okay, make sure, um, all the services on the computer are started and from there we check the websites make sure that the websites are up because it's our job to make sure the websites are up so if the websites are down we have to figure out why they're down and then fix it as soon as we can um, we also are on like a ticket basis so I don't know if you know anything about IT but a lot of IT work in the entire world is ticket based so they'll have a system where somebody can say oh my gosh this is broken Pink, and it submits a ticket and then we get the ticket number, the information about the ticket, we have to troubleshoot it, fix it, and then enter the information. This is how we fix the ticket and then submit that. So there's a lot of doing that, um, but majority of the job is, it's, it's very easy, right? There's a lot of downtime. Um, and so like when something breaks, it's like, yes, 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 we have work to do, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we're not sitting there all day, you know, with our with our feet up and stuff like that. Like we, we you know, patch and we do tons of other stuff and we study a lot for CDCs because there's a lot of us um, like newer airmen. Um, but most of the day is 
it's very repetitive. Um, and if you want to be super hands-on, digging through computers and rebuilding computers and stuff, I'm not really sure if there's a career field that offers that or what the career field would be. Um, it'd probably be client systems is probably the most thing that you're going to get like physical. Um, I don't know for sure, but I know that their tech school is extremely physical, like with hardware. Um, and ours was not like that at all. And cyber surety isn't really like that at all either. I think there's a, there are some things that they do, but they're not allowed to talk about it. So um, yeah, so uh, basically we go like I said, we go into work, we do the health checks and stuff like that, and then we just kind of study, you know, do whatever until lunch comes around. We take lunch anywhere between 11 and one. We get a one hour lunch. We come back and then we continue working. So at that point in time, throughout the day, something might have broken. That's when we'll get tickets. That's when. Um, the NCLs will be like, hey, I need you to work on this really quick, and then you just kind of accomplish that. And then towards 4 o'clock, um, that's when we start to wrap things up, get the trash all together. Like, this is all the airman stuff, right? The NCLs jobs is completely different because they're supervision. Um, but the people who are actually working um, a lot of the time, like doing the grunt work of our, our job, I guess, would be us. Um, because the NCLs do a lot more um, administrative stuff and they're more technically they have they're more technically driven they they have that expertise that we don't have because we're new so they do tons of stuff like that um we do work with civilians as well like we work with a huge amount of civilians civilians at my base um a lot of people don't do that and a lot of people do do that it's kind of like a weird mix um but we do work with a lot of civilians in the air force especially in the it world because it's it's a huge world and uh it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you understand the IT world and you're getting into this career field, eventually you will understand the IT world and you'll know what I'm talking about. So that's pretty much it. Besides that, we have PT on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 in the morning, not 7.37. Um, so we have to be there at 7. We get, off, we get released from PT at 7.30 most of the time, and then we have to report to work at 9. So I can go home, shower, eat breakfast, and then come back to work at 9, and that's the same thing till 4.30. Um... Besides that, that's that's pretty much my day-to-day -day job. Um, I love my job. Like my job in the Air Force is awesome. I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I didn't know what cyber job I wanted. I just know that I wanted to be doing what I was, what I'm doing now. And I literally just got extremely blessed to be put into this career field. And then once I actually got to the base and I found out what exactly I was going to be doing, it was mind blowing because I was like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. This is, I, it teaches me exactly what I need to know about my career field. And it gives me tons of time to be able to do everything else in my life that I want to do for the next two years and 10 months or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a passion for IT, um, you want to be involved in servers and websites and that whole side of things potentially because I don't know what your base is going to be doing But that's kind of the area it's going to fall into um, Then this is definitely the career field for you like I can't answer questions about you know mechanical career fields or super physical career fields like CES and stuff like that because I don't know anything about HVAC. I don't know anything about working on F-16s. Like, I don't know any of that stuff. I know how to fix a computer. I know how to manage servers. I know how to be a server admin. I know tons of stuff like that. So if you have any question that's related to my career field, please feel free to just let me know um, because I want to be a resource for you guys because there's like literally no videos about our job on YouTube or on the internet and a lot of the stuff is like textbook answers and I really want to be able to um, help you because I know that when you go to BMT and you already know what your job is going to be like you want to know like you don't care about BMT that's just that's just an obstacle that you have to get through you want to know what you're going to be doing in your job and you learn tons about it in tech school like you learn the basics but you're not really going to know what you're going to be doing until you get to your base um, so yeah anyways thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed I'm trying this new thing with autofocus so it looks like it is uh, working which is awesome because I know that sometimes my videos might be a little bit out of focus um, and I want to use my DSLR to the best of my ability uh, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, drop your ship dates down below and don't forget to subscribe as well feel free again to drop any questions that you may have down below because I want to be a resource whether they're about BMT tech school um, 
being at your actual duty station, like no matter what it is. It doesn't even have to be about the Air Force, dude. It could be about my hat. It could be about my dog. I don't know where they are, but anyways, thank you so much for watching again, and uh, peace out.